hello, I'm Robert Fontech, I come from Spain and I'm making this video as assignment number three for Coursera's course Introduction to Musical Production from Berkeley University. I'm gonna try to briefly explain how to optimize in Cubase AI5. So I imported a couple of tracks made with Reason, one is some drums and the other one is some voices, so let's hear them briefly. So, you could hear them, and let's say I would like to make a fade in in these voices. I would like them to enter smoothly, not like now. Then I would have to come here to the chorus and show automation. And yeah, I have already the volume selected. I would have to go uh, click this right button, and this is gonna work as a latch. So it's gonna start recording my automation as soon as I change the volume. Uh, let's do it. Put the volume really low and click and I'm gonna click now okay so that's recorded now always click right again afterwards to make sure we don't change anything and now it's recorded Okay, you can see how it works. Let's say I would like to edit it, then I could come to this toolbar here. Uh, for example, I have a rubber here. I don't like it. I made it too loud, for, in my opinion, so I could select these two points, click on them, and they would go. Now the volume stays here. I could just paint some extra point with this pencil, like here. That was not the nicer way to do it, but then I have this object selection tool, and I can move these to where I want. That would be the way of editing it, for example. I could also like just select them and delete them with the tell button, but yeah, let's say I'll leave it like that. Uh, this kind of automation can also be done with effects. For example, now in the drums I'm gonna make some insert. I'm gonna insert a filter. This dual filter, I'm gonna show you how it works. So Position low, let's only some deep parts pass, some low parts, and if I make it high, it gets really high. So let's say I want to optimize this position parameter. Come to drums, show automation. Here I would have to choose uh, more. I can choose the insert, dual filter, position. Again, right button and it's gonna work again as before, it's gonna work as a latch. So, uh, let's see. You can see when I click it goes down, I click up. And now it stopped recording and it stops. Now we have here some filter effect automized. Uh, again, remember to click on right again. And if I wanted to automate something else, I would just have to select it, like for example here in volume and do exactly the same, right? And then optimize. Uh, that's how it works here in Cubase. I would have now this volume automation. I can see the other one, but when I click here, we can see that it's already here. I can select it and then it will show it here. So that's more or less how you optimize in Reason click right again and then I'll forget. It's a little different us from what we learned but the basics in the end are always the same. I hope you enjoyed it and y'all let me know if I did something wrong or if I forgot something or what I can improve. Thank you.